Okay, moving on to example three. Um, we just talked about on example one a moment ago when opposite angles are congruent, then you have a parallelogram. So for what values of x and y is RST or parallelogram? Same idea. This isn't a parallelogram yet, but we have the ability to figure out what x and y could equal to make it that way. So if both pairs of opposite angles are congruent, you have a parallelogram. So if 5x is congruent to, or 5x is equal to 3x plus 14, And at the same time, 4y plus 1 is equal to 3y plus 37. If we make that happen, then we should have equal angles. If we have equal angles, we will have congruent, or we should have a parallelogram, right? So again, if both pairs of opposite, opposite angles are congruent, then it's a parallelogram. So we construct the equations, we solve the equations. So, <clears throat> I move the 3x over here, it becomes minus 3x. 5x minus 3x is 2x. 14 is left on the right side. Divide both sides by 2, we get x equals 7. Again, just a quick check to verify that actually is the right answer. These should be the same amount if that's right. So 5 times 7 is 35. And 21, that's 3 times 7, 21 plus 14 is 35. So those are congruent when x equals 7. <clears throat> the other equation, 4y plus 1 equals 3y plus 37. Move the 3y to the left. Move the 1 to the right. In most cases, the signs change when we move. 4y minus 3y makes 1y, better known as y. And 37 minus 1 makes 36. Again, do a quick check. 4 times 36 is 144, plus 1 is 145. And 3 times 36 is 108, plus 37 is 145. So those are congruent when y equals 36. These are congruent when y equals 7. So my answers are x equals 7 and y equals 36. We'll ensure that we have a parallelogram. All right, so the homework problems will be of that variety tonight. I'm either the algebraic sense where you're using the theorems to show a parallelogram or the other ones where you're going to demonstrate why something's true. And there may be just a general proof in there too. You know how to do those, just use the theorems within the book to do that.